Five Richest Religious Organizations in the World Church of Scientology L. Ron Hubbard incorporated the first Scientology church in December 1953 in Camden, New Jersey. By this time the Hubbard Association of Scientologists International had already been operating for a year and Hubbard himself had already been selling Scientology books and technologies. In 1953, Hubbard announced the religious nature of Scientology in a bulletin to all Scientologists, stressing its relation to the concept of Dharma, derived from Indian religions. And then the first Church of Scientology opened in Los Angeles the very next year. But what is Scientology all about? This basic idea led to its credibility as a religion in various countries but been described as both a cult and a commercial enterprise and is thus scrutinized. The highest rank is operating Thetan 8 that costs around $256,000. The Church of England The State Church of England is the Church of England which is also the Mother Church of the International Anglican Communion. The Church of England's earliest origins date back to the Roman Catholic Church's influence in Europe during the 2nd century. But the Church's official formation is said to be started by King Henry VIII during the Reformation in England in the 16th century. In the 1530s, the King broke ties with the Pope. Any idea why? The Catholic Church wouldn't allow him to annul his marriage to his first wife, Catherine of Aragon who didn't produce any male heirs. But in 1553 Queen Mary succeeded the throne and embraced traditional Roman Catholic ideals. Today the Church upholds many of the customs of Roman Catholicism while it also embraces fundamental ideas adopted during the Protestant Reformation. We wonder if their liberal outlook took their net worth to $7.8 billion with more than $320 million in donations and $400 million through its events and services. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints This non-Trinitarian, Christian Restorationist Church is considered by its members to be the restoration of the original Church founded by Jesus Christ. This seems to justify the $40 billion net worth of the church. Yay people, this really is the worth of the fastest growing and richest religions in the world. Its members are called Mormons and can be found everywhere, from Scandinavia to Japan. At the turn of the 21st century, Mormon assets were already being estimated to be at over $30 billion with an annual revenue of $6 billion. The most amazing thing is that 90% of this amount comes from member contributions called tithing, in which members are required to give 10% of their entire income. The Roman Catholic Church As one of the oldest religious institutions in the world, the Roman Catholic Church is the largest Christian church, with more than 1.29 billion members worldwide and has played a prominent role in the history and development of Western civilization. The hierarchy of the Catholic Church is headed by the Bishop of Rome, known as the Pope, who is the leader of the worldwide Catholic Church. The current Pope, Francis, was elected on March 13, 2013 by Papal Conclave. The Pope is also sovereign of Vatican City, a small city-state entirely enclaved within the city of Rome which is an entity distinct from the Holy See. It is as head of the Holy See, not as head of Vatican City State. Church membership at the end of 2014 was 1.272 billion, which is 17.8% of the world population. Catholics represent about half of all Christians. Catholic priests are expected to make a vow of poverty, so it is ironic that the Church is actually the richest religion in the world. The Catholic Church owns some of the greatest artworks ever made which are priceless in addition to land and properties which cannot be sold, donations and gold owned. Therefore, the actual worth of the Church cannot be quantified and remains a mystery. Padmanabhiswami Temple Located in Tiruvananthapuram, India, the Padmanabhiswami Temple is built in an intricate fusion of the indigenous Kerala style and the Tamil style of architecture. The principal deity Vishnu is enshrined in the Anantasayanam posture, the eternal yogic sleep on the serpent Adishan. 
Sri Padmanabhiswami is the tutelary deity of the royal family of Travancore. The titular Maharaja of Travancore Mulamthar Yunal Ramavarma is the trustee of the temple. In line with the temple entry proclamation, only those who profess the Hindu faith are permitted entry to the temple and devotees have to strictly follow the dress code. The temple is the wealthiest place of worship in the country because vaults when A, C, D, E and F were opened and monumental items worth $18 billion were found. But Vault B has not been opened since 1880s because it is believed to be guarded by cobras. The record of that opening says that the treasure was worth $1.8 billion but if you consider inflation and rise of prices of gold and silver, the current worth could be about $770 billion.